Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanaliza Dawn. I'm your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury. It's not sure which one to go with at this point, but we are having a match between Mackie and Rar on Living Lands. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Hmm. One sec. There, now you can hear me. All right, let's go. So, Rar going to be playing the Spider Factory. Mackie, on the other hand, going with the Shieldbot Factory, and Rar. As we all know, is a bit of a favorite on the commanders, but I don't know if they're going to be going for commanders with a spider factory. I could see, like, Venom or maybe Venom Redback supporting the commander, but they have been playing a lot more straightforward 0k recently. Playing around the units, not playing the commander so much. Mackie, on the other hand, very much straightforward. Going out for a very early bandit start. No surprises there either. So, both players playing this fairly standard. Nothing really out of the ordinary from either one. But, of course, that's usually how it goes in the early game. Granted, spiders are a little bit out of the ordinary. You don't see them all the time. You see, you see them from time to time, and on this map, they can work decently well. However, this map is pathable for basically everybody. I mean, red is still pathable. It's just purple that's not. Anyway, that gives Mackie a bit of an advantage slightly because they can easily get rid of the fleas. At the same time, though, the flea could actually start getting rid of this convict. It probably won't have the time. I, the bandit should be able to get back in time to stop it, and honestly, it clearly doesn't care. Rar is just there to scout. They know the bandit can't get the flea up here. But the flea can see what's going on. So right now, Rar has a nice setup scouting-wise, which you pretty much need as spiders. Mackie, on the other hand, not so much. Mackie's got a bit of an idea of what's going on. They have a bit of an idea of the southeast. They're exploring the northwest, but they don't really know what's going on inside of Rar's base. So obviously, it's a little bit tricky for them. And... That is going to be, like I said, scouting out. It's actually a remarkably slow start, all things considered. I mean, consider the way that 0k matches usually go, I would consider this to be a... Like, this is unusual. This is not not how things usually go. Usually, it's it's much, much more aggressive early on. Especially, like, okay, shield versus spider, I suppose. There are slower units. It's not going to be as big of a deal. But even then, bandits aren't that slow. And now we have some engagements going on. Rar... Getting a little bit of a scuffle, but obviously no problems there. It's bandit. No big deal. That'll die. However, this red pack's venom combo is going to be very difficult to dislodge. The three bandits here are pretty much just going to be red back food right off the bat. Even with more bandits coming in there, red backs are designed to get rid of raiders like this. More so designed to get rid of glaives just about, but definitely going to get rid of anything bandit-wise thrown at them. So at this point, not a whole lot can be said positively for those, for those bandits. I mean, the best attempts off those shields did their best. Actually, did push the red back back enough that the Lotus does manage to do the job. That's going to open things up. The Venom cannot stun everybody and will go down ultimately. So, hey, it worked out. That Convict shield, granted, the Convict did die in the process. So, win to Rar. They did manage to slow down some of Mackie's expansion. But, at the same time, it's not as big of a deal as it looks. Now, it really is just a matter of making sure that Mackie does have a strong position to work from. But, hey, as long as Mackie is doing all right... Still, though, like I said, Mackie did get their expansions loaded, and Rar is going for the center on top of that. So Rar is getting faster expansions in theory, but at this point, they are still three metal per second behind, and they haven't for most of this round. In fact, in terms of metal used, they are about 200 behind, and the attrition does not make up for that. So Mackie a little bit ahead. Actually, if these bandits get over the Rar's commander, which Rar's commander is just now up being upgraded, but they're not. They're going around the back instead, which I think is actually a pretty neat idea on top of that. With a recluse stand, trying to stop them and not being able to do much. I mean, okay, we'll be able to do something. Mostly it's just going to be bait. The Lotuses are there. They will stop the bandits if the bandits try to go for it. Honestly, I wish they had gone for the commander. Granted, the commander is being upgraded and right now does have a missile. Oh, no, missile launcher's fine. Missile launcher is actually totally doable. This Rar's commander is very far forward without it being as upgraded as it normally would be. Granted, Rar does have full vision. I mean, they're fully aware that there's these thugs coming in, so... Really, not a whole lot of surprises for them, but still. I would say Mackie does have the upper hand. They have an economic advantage. Despite losing their their worker up in the north, they still were expanding over to the southeast and they've been expanding consistently over to the southeast. Rar at this point is running a little bit behind and is having a hard time keeping up. And now with the rogues coming in, this is going to be even harder. Skirmishers generally do a good job getting rid of spider factory units, especially redbacks and venoms. I mean, the Thug's doing an okay job as well, though the Venom can burn through the shields quickly enough. It's still 
a matter of range. The thugs are outranging that venom, so it's not that easy. I mean, you can see right here, it's yeah, thug vent thug range is about ah, come on, where are you? 240 elmos compared to 280 elmos. The thugs do outrange them. The thugs can also walk away as they're firing. Venoms do not have retreat micro opportunities. So overall, yeah, Mackie is really pulling ahead here. And the Reckless is finally getting rid of those bands over to the south, or at least forcing them back enough. That does allow for a bit of counterattack here. The Recluses will help getting rid of the shields and will help getting rid of the thugs, but even then, it's not necessarily going to be a major success on that part as Rara is still forced back, and the rogues are still managing to do a fair bit of damage, or at least a fair bit of pressure. Maintaining a position on the top hill is an important aspect of this. I expect that this convict is going to be building up some stingers or other defenses on the top hill now that Mackie has it. But at this point, Mackie has such an economic lead, it almost doesn't even matter. All that matters is that they maintain that lead and keep pushing forward. And in order to do that, part of that trying to go for the metal extractor, not quite managing to do it. Rar is still behind, but that would have been that would have been 29 to 14 after that point. And honestly, Mackie's major issue right now is the fact that they are excessing quite a bit. Or no. No, they are. 200 or so. Still 400 metal or 400 metal advantage on army. Even with the attrition taken into account. That is going to be tricky to work with. And Mackie is building up power plants. They are, however, wind generators on low ground, so they're not managing to do as much as they otherwise would if they were on higher ground. But eventually, Mackie will get the power from that, and it will be enough to keep them going. I do kind of wish they would actually build up on the hill, but again, they can't build up that much on the hill. At this point, though, Mackie is just needing to push. That's all they need to like, maintain a strong position, slowly creep forward, get a few more people on shields, and there's that hill. That's what I was talking about. The hill is being set up, and now the Rakir's on top of that. Rar? Rar's having a tough time. They're also down by half our economy. The only thing they do have is the fact that Rexes are going to be able to get rid of these shielded units fairly effectively. They can just spam through those shields and make it almost impossible for the shields to maintain any presence, which allows Rar's commander to go forward and actually starts to clear out these thugs. I'm not sure I agree with the, the rogue, the, sorry, the Venom Redback set up here, but the Venom Redback, they are going over the hills. That does mean that they... They get close before it matters. Uh, they get inside of the rogue and thug range before the rogues and thugs can see them. So overall, Rar, despite their massive economic disadvantage, they are managing just by unit types to get in on this. And the Redback as well over the south, not managing to get a whole lot of mileage in. A help prevent him would have been nice. But still, in terms of unit type and for status effects, this is actually working out really well for Rar. However, Mackie now finally managing to get a little bit of power on their wind generators. And that does mean they can start to build up. Or at least get rid of that excess. I think once that happens, we're going to see a massive shift over. Because Rar essentially has to break this entire army and push back with what they have in the next minute or it's over. I don't see any other way they're going to be able to get back in here. They don't have a huge amount of economy. They aren't really building a huge amount of economy either. I don't see any weavers around the map. Whereas, I mean, there's this one that's helping in the factory, but that's it. And the commander, while forward is mostly just there to attack, is not building up any metal extractors or rebuilding the metal extractors that have been lost. So at this point, RAR, they are doing a wonderful job getting value, and at this point have actually exceeded army value on their opponent by 600 metal. But at the same time, their opponent is way ahead in terms of production. Like, in terms of metal use, yeah, okay, in terms of metal excess, not great. But still, RAR is being exceedingly efficient here. I think part of that is the fact that their commander is up here and is upgraded. Double missile launcher. Double missile launcher with increased range. And Mackie throwing their their commander up in the front. Why are they doing that? I don't understand. This is this was their game so long as they kept building up. As long as they put a couple more characters on here and got that power sooner, they would have this. I mean, the rogue is not a bad idea. And honestly, a really good idea right now would be Felon. These units are not very strong, so the Felon Shields wouldn't be a big problem. And the Felon Range would mean that they'd be able to get through all this all this stuff, all the Venom all the Venom Paralysis, which deals a bunch of shield damage. That would be gone, but now, unfortunately, Felons were not built, so no real option to get through that. And that gives RAR the game. It's nicely done, RAR. So anyway, that was that. We're going to be moving on to another match, this time between Orphelius and Randy. Going to be on Shimmer Shore, because I really want to see what's going on with Shimmer Shore. I mean, it was a map we saw in the tournament last week. 
that was just bizarre. It it just played to ship versus ship versus like ship and ship versus ship and ship, and it was it was an odd thing. Anyway, I'm curious what's been developed since then, since it's been a week since then, and this match was played yesterday. But for the time being, we're gonna be taking a short break while I set that up, so stay tuned. We'll be back after said short break. <laughs> 